Hello there and welcome to Study Active's YouTube channel. My name is Liam and today I'm going to be reading out a blog written by Rob Spicer with Chris Walsh on upper body workout ideas. So a question we often get asked is what are the best workouts for the upper body? So we thought we'd ask the experts so we caught up with Study Active fitness guru Chris Walsh to hear what he had to say on this. So first we asked Chris why is an upper body workout important? And Chris said there are a few things to consider when asking this. Now the first one is to correct and maintain posture. So it can also reduce the impact of kyphosis, round shoulders, hunched position from sitting at a desk for too long. It can also build muscle, support joints and aid movement, making the activities of daily living easier. For example, lifting the shopping or making the bed or gardening, etc. And thirdly, it can increase athleticism, improving one's ability for any chosen sport or activity, for example, golf, tennis or yoga. So number four, reducing the effects of sarcopenia, so the loss of skeletal muscle as we age. Now we tend not to use the upper body muscle so much as we age and they start to degenerate. So maintaining muscle equals better health as we age. It also creates a flow of endorphins, so the feel-good hormones, increases our feeling of well-being. Number six, our bodies work synergistically and if we maintain a good amount of active muscle all over the body, we're more likely to maintain better physical and mental health as we age. And number seven, for many people, having upper body muscle increases their confidence and self-esteem. So what are some examples of an upper body exercises then? And here are a few of Chris's favourites. The lat pull down, pull ups, the single arm row, barbell bench press, cable crossovers, dips, press ups, dumbbell flies, the seated row, scapular rows, face pulls, inverted rows, the bent over barbell row, overhead press, lateral raise, front raise, prone flies, tricep pull down or tricep kickbacks, skull crushers, bicep curl or hammer curls, plank walk outs, trap bar deadlift, suitcase carry and the farmer's walk. And Chris's general advice when performing these is to consider what the lower body is doing while you exercise the upper. Are your feet or hips providing a stable base? Is your rib cage directly over your pelvis? Is your core engaged? Are your shoulders back and down, scapula retracted? Is your chin horizontal and looking forward? Is your breathing pattern helping? Also consider slowing tempo, for example, the speed of the repetition. Under two seconds per rep is too fast. Try three seconds or aim for four seconds. Always achieve a full range of motion is dictated by the exercise and your own body's restrictions. So how would I design an upper body dumbbell workout? And Chris said, always start with a structured warm up and cool down. Warm the muscles, lubricate the joints and prepare the body for the workout. Try to have a wide selection of dumbbells and add cable or bands where appropriate. It will help enormously as you seek progression. If you have a limited range of dumbbells, consider reducing your rest times, slowing the tempo, increasing the lever length and challenging the balance during the exercises. Consider linking exercises to create fatigue, superset, triset, pre or post exhaust, for example. Target the larger muscles first, perhaps targeting the lats with bent over rows into pullovers, then chest press into flies, effectively working your way around the torso. Now, if your smaller muscles are exercised first and therefore tired, you'll never fatigue your larger ones, unless, of course, you have access to heavy dumbbells. Shoulders can be targeted with overhead press into lateral and front raise into rear delt or prone flies. Bicep curls have multiple options, add rotation for instance, then into dumbbell skull crushers, so keep those elbows in and 15 degrees lean towards the face when supine. Consider unilateral movements where appropriate, though generally bilateral exercises will increase the intensity and the metabolic effect. So a common and quite specific question from a client is this one, what exercises would provide a good upper chest workout? And Chris said, we think of the chest or the pectorials, as the minor and major, though it's more complicated than that. To focus on a specific area of the body, in this case the upper chest, you must first look at the muscle fibres under the skin in that area to observe where they run to and from. So the pec fibres run horizontal on the midsection at a 45 degree-ish angle on the upper and lower aspects attaching to the calvicle, sternum, humerus, effectively adducting the arm. So to build musculature on the chest, we must fatigue the muscle from multiple angles. Bench press alone just won't do it. Consider press ups, barbell bench press, dumbbell flies, cable crossovers, cross the cables over the bin line. Now these are great for unilateral too. And dips with the body tilted forwards. For the upper chest specifically, low to high band or cable flies, incline barbell slash dumbbell press and fly. Try a partially supinated grip on the dumbbell press and a narrow grip on the barbell press too. And with that then, a massive thank you to Chris, that is really useful. 
So we've seen from this information from Chris that there are many exercises to consider and a range of safety and performances tips to take on board. So hopefully this article goes a long way in helping clients get the benefits that a well-designed upper body resistance program can offer. And a big thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more blogs in the future. And don't forget to check out our website with so many more blogs and so much more on the website, studyactive.co.uk. Thank you for watching.